Makeup hair. Did he make up hair? <laughs> uh, what is this? That's the Galaxy. That's a Jared Van Otterloo and Rod Olson collaboration with now with Bag. That's our button lock. One of wow. our two button lock offerings. And that's actually our other JVO Rod Olson uh, design that we have is the, uh, the microburst. This yeah, is a button lock as well. Those. those are interesting. Too. We have them in three different versions. We have the uh, these are early prototypes, so a little sharp on the pocket clip, but we have them in a frag pattern in black and gray. And if you go to Rod Olson's account, you'll see these in customs. And he's done them like this, and he's done them in elaborate versions. We're going to come out with uh, rosettes that are going to be in damascus steel and Vegas Forge that you can add in, those, add in aftermarket. And we're going to do engraved ones from our shop. So this is this is our first button lock, button lock offering. Wow. Yeah, that's a very distinctive design, isn't it? Isn't that cool? It really catches the eye when you look at them. Yeah. It's fun, too. And the way Rod does his buttons, they're so far forward, it allows the flipper to be very far forward. So it allows to be able to hide that flipper where you don't hardly see it on the knife. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of like this front flipper look, but it's yeah. really for the top. It's really for the top. And it just rolls it right rolls over. Rolls right over. Yeah, it does. It's got a nice detent on it. Is that aluminum? It's aluminum with uh, steel liners. Yep, the pocket clip is stainless steel with a uh, with our bearing. You know the Beg Knives trademark ah, yeah. bearing in the pocket clip. And then we got you know this button is just like how Rod does. These are done exactly like how Rod does them. Jared designed this for Rod years ago. So we're really excited because you know Rod's an incredible maker, and it's nice to see people be able to get them in an affordable range. These started at a thousand dollars and went up to two grand. Ooh. If you go on his account, you'll see them in all kinds of exotic materials. Yeah, oh, they're wow. pretty cool. And then we, you know, we wanted to do the nested rosette. He does them with a rosette that's not nested. He does them nested. He does them like twenty different ways. And then the slip joints uh, were originally the inspiration that started was. Jared Van Otterloo, Jared over there, the guy, the red bearded guy, he uh, he he designed these for uh, Joel Chamblin, who's you know a forty year veteran in slip joints, and Joel was kind of the inspiration because when I first saw this, I said, dude, we got we got to make these. I love this, and so this was the Hawksbill first, and the Warren Cliff, and um, that kind of started the beginning of our slip joint journey. And a lot of kind of counseling and work with Joel, because you know it's nice to have a guy that's been doing it for forty years to get advice. Nice, yeah. yeah. And our walk I mean, it's and talk. not too stiff. It's it's nice. Those are af those after uh, MSRP are going to retail for about forty eight dollars. Oh wow! The large ones are going to retail around fifty five, fifty six dollars. The walk and talk on the big ones is a lot stiffer because there's a lot more purchase to get these, and so. You know, the little ones, we wanted to make them a little bit softer because we didn't want them to flip out of people's hands. Yeah, And people yeah. to cut themselves because if you get too much walk and talk on a little one, it can be dangerous. And, you know, not too many people have two-inch slip joints. We're going to do a mid-size as well, too, but, you know, we wanted to start with doing a two-inch offering of all our slip joints from our 2.7. And, you know, it's weird. 2.7 sounded small originally, but then when we finally got them made, I was like, that's a, that's a pretty hardy slip joint. And then going from, you know, we got the recurve, we got our drop point, we got the hot bill, we got two Warren Cliffs, which are these what, two what guys. What plate steel are you using? That's a sand, the Sandvik 14NC. Okay, there you go. I always get those call out numbers yeah. wrong. And then over here we got our Lambert collabs, which are Kirby Lambert. Uh, Jared, designed, yeah. Jared designed the one for Kirby, which is this one here. And that's a thumb disc. And yeah, this is a great location for flipping open. These are going to be a VG10 with a cryo heat treat. And these are steel bolsters, uh, 3D machined, uh, stainless pocket clips, stainless bolsters. And then this is the current model that Kirby's making, with, which is the Sation. Same construction, VG10 cryo heat treat, stainless bolsters, stainless pocket clips. We, you know, these are the same weight as Kirby's. We really wanted to get a knife that represented exactly a Kirby Lambert. It wasn't kind of a fantastical version of one of his knives. And Jared designed this for Kirby years ago, and it's been one of his top sellers. And so we, uh, you know, we're excited to be able to offer it. Currently, these are the two offerings, but we're we're open to we're, we're open to uh, requests for other materials.
you know, for, for handle materials. But we want to keep these affordable. These are going to, after math, these should retail around $120. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And then, of course, you know, we got, you know, all the stuff that's currently out right now, the Bodega, the Osteo. We've got the, uh, this, which is, the, a lot of people haven't seen this yet. This is the Diamici. We've had this design for five years. We just haven't released it. This is stainless steel frame. What we wanted to do is make a knife that kind of looked like an inner frame tie knife that would be a thousand dollar knife that people could get around a hundred bucks so this is gonna be 120 dollars uh msrp was 149 these are going to be selling the big box dealers for around 120. these are currently i think available on like knife center and blade hq and these are d2 you've tested our d2 so you know yeah. we're doing a pretty good job <laughs> with it but we are moving in other seals vg10 we have a lot of requests for it you know is and then that a beautiful design yeah, we've got, you know, what we did was, you know, we kind of themed a lot of stuff. If you see what we're doing with the brand, you see a lot of the color schemes that we got going on. And the whole idea behind this is, is really thought out to kind of create a flowing theme with all the product. And so There you, you know, go. Now there, that that's a wild ass, uh, that's a good looking knife right there. I love that design. This is designed by a guy named D, uh, David Dawid Kronos. He's a Polish designer. I've been collecting his knives for years, and we wanted to do a collaboration, and he designed this for us. And this is going to probably retail around 120 bucks after map. Yeah. Don't have the exact pricing on that yet, but yeah. I love this design because I've been collecting his stuff for years, so I'm really excited to introduce him to the American market because a lot of people don't know who he is. But you can kind of see the, the color schemes that we're trying to do. We're trying to get things to kind of work together with these colors. You know, if you look at all this stuff, you kind of start to see where it's it's all flowing together. That was the idea. And we got other things coming as well. You know, then we have some of the traditional bag stuff like the bolo. You know, we've got, we got our daggers coming out, the filoso. These are gonna be 120 bucks when they come out, map. You got the larger version. We got a 5.5 and an 8. Woo! Yeah, right? Yeah. It's exciting stuff. And then, you know, the tree frog's going to be out this year. Got the tree frog coming. Is that that's, what you're wearing? That's what I'm wearing right now. It's a classic. It's dirty as all get out. Oh, that's the. That's, that's just the, the neck knife. blade version of the. This of, guy right here, yeah. tree frog. Let me wipe it off because it just looks nasty. It looks like the glimpse. Yeah, it's a, it's a traditional, I mean, it's very a pointy Warren cliff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The glimpse is a modified Warren cliff. So, yes, it, it, the glimpse is a kind of an upswept Warren cliff. And then we have three different colors on the dagger. So, if you look at the daggers, we have them in, we have them in gray, black, satin. And the same, the bolo, we have three different versions, which is coming out in, we have it in black with a two tone. And then we have it in, um, we have it in, in the gray. Oh. And we have we have a satin bolo, Matia. Satin bolo. This injection molded sheath, which is nice. Wow. Injection molded handles. Keep the price down on these. These are going to sell for 250 MSRP, but they'll probably sell the big box dealers for 187. We did a lot of work to make sure these saws actually work. This Ooh. will cut through a two by four in under 30 seconds. Oh man. So oh that's, yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. These are made out of AUS 10 because you know, the, the nature of the stainless being wow. yeah, on, that's... On, on the daggers, on the coated ones are 1095 and the satins are AUS 10. Wow. We got a lot of stuff coming this year. There's more coming. We just, we couldn't even get it all here for the show because we still got. So these these will be available on like Blade HQ, Knife Center, places. Yep, like all that? the major dealers. Yes, okay. that's true. Okay. Anybody else who wants to join in? <laughs> so if anybody wants to access and kind of look whatever you have, uh, just go to your website. Go to our website. A lot of stuff will be posted. That's okay. true. And we'll and be then talking about when the release. You also have a list one. of your dealers on your website. Yes, we right? do. Okay. And we're getting so many more new dealers because we're in distribution now. We're trying to add new dealers, so if you're a new dealer and you're selling our stuff and we don't know about you, contact us because we want to put you on our website. Do you have White Mountain now? Are they on your... I don't know. I know we just got on Smoky Mountain, and so a lot of new stuff coming on all the time. We're trying to keep up with it all. Okay. And we're kind of... Our, our business model's changed. As you kind of see all the knives right here. I know. You don't have to look at the case. You just look at the banner. 
I know. Look at all this. Mattia did all this. He designed this. So. That's Lee from uh, Love Them Knives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But does all the Good chef knives. So when we came out of oh, our, yeah. our culinary oh, wow. division, that's all the Bowie chef and all that stuff. So during the pandemic, that worked out pretty good because everybody was home cooking. So we sold a lot of chef knives. <laughs> Absolutely. But we've been hustling in quiet with the tactical knives. So we're... You know, yeah, we I mean, all of a sudden they came out and it was like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, it was a little shock. And the people. Astio and then the, the Quaken and, and, uh, and the Bodega. But of course, I had to get the, yeah, I had to get the Bodega because I always, and I remember. It's a classic. Yeah. It's our flagship model. I so. remember seeing it on Skelton's channel back in. Big like, Red. 15 or yeah, that, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And it was like, holy shit. But you know, I mean, it was a little bit more expensive back then. And then, so when it came out for 120, I had the bank Gotti. I ordered that yeah. back in 2016. We're going to come out 15, with a production 15. version of that in a 3.5. And I got the bank Gotti. You're going to come out with a version We're of gonna that? We're going to come out with a production version of that, yeah. A lot of people have wow. been asking. A lot of people have been asking for it. I made like 1000 or two 2050 bucks, I think, is what I paid. Oh, yeah, that was the spendy one. I think yeah, I remember when gold, you got that. I had the cracked ice, all that kind of stuff. That's yeah. a great knife. You know, it's oh, interesting. Yeah. A lot of people don't talk about this, but the Bodega is actually the first time we've ever come out with one in a 3.5. So we've only ever made it in a 3.75, which is, it's got a bigger, it's a bigger knife. So this new version of 3.5, so it's an all new version of the Bodega. So it's, you know, it's, we, we, things seem to be shrinking in the knife industry, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we thought yeah. we would shrink it a bit, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah, smaller blades, but, you know, I talk to the guys, they go, I love big knives, but you know what I end up carrying? Yeah, smaller knives. Smaller my, my EDC is this little guy right here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, but it's handy as hell, right? Well, I call this a coin pocket knife. Although my son corrected me today, he said, Dad, Dad, that's not a coin pocket. That's for a watch. That's what they originally designed oh, for. Okay. I said, well. Search me. I always thought it was I got a little Kayla Cummings promotion. <laughs> Kayla's in my pocket. Look, Kayla. Oh, Get back in there. <laughs> well, you got quite the, you got quite the lineup. Thank so, you, yeah, man. We'll I appreciate work our way it. Through All right. it eventually. Cool. Sounds good. Thank great. you so much for coming by. Thanks for helping us out yeah. and uh, showing your product line, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank it you. It's good to meet you for yeah, the first time. Yeah, you too. Time. You too. Okay, have a All great right. show. Yeah, you too.